said, no skunk. No skunk. Let's see if I can get him up on the shore. No skunk. Yes, <laughs> and that's the nicest fish of the day right there. We had just, guys, we just watched something boiling was swimming out towards his bait. And I said, that's a fish right there. That's a big shad or something. And it wasn't even 10 seconds later he set the hook on that fish. <laughs> Middle of January, we got fish breaking the surface. That's a nice fish, man. So this is what I was telling you before. So what you see is the, the it's a little stuck with algae and, and kind of little weeds, but this is a tag that he puts on his fish. Okay. And uh, he kind of keeps track over the seasons and he continues to stock the pond, but he kind of keeps track of every, if he catches this fish again, he'll pop another tag in there. And then he can kind of just keep an eye on, you know, the kind of fish and where they're hanging out. And it's really quite, quite a fascinating process he goes through. But it's a beautiful bass right there. That is a nice fish. It's got some decent coloration. For no skunk. Being, being cold. Being, yeah, for being cold in the wintertime, they actually have their color. Yeah. A couple of mine were faded white, but yeah. that one is pretty. Yeah. He's got a head. His head's much bigger than his body looking, though. Yeah, he's got... Uh... He's short. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take him. Yeah, man. Bye, shorty. Sweet. <laughs> no skunk. That feels a lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm, am I recording? I don't even know if Yeah, I'm... you are. Your camera's on. Man, that was, that was perfect. I wish I had the camera in my hand while we were talking. <laughs> we, we were literally just sitting here talking about work and the things we do and why we both got on YouTube and all that sort of stuff. And then he set the hook. That's awesome. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Way of Fishing. I'm out here, it's January 1st, starting off the new year with the fishing rod in my hand. I'm out here with Ron. He's been a very long time subscriber of the channel. We've tried to fish together, what, four times? At least, yeah. At least four times and never really made it happen, but today we made it happen. So I'm out here, this is actually going to be the first time I've ever filmed a private piece of water on my YouTube channel in three years. Every right. video I've ever shot has been on public water. Even if I don't tell y'all where I'm fishing, it's all been public. So um, I've been fishing this winter, haven't been posting because I haven't been catching any fish. But um, even if I don't catch fish, I'm going to post it because this is the most beautiful piece of water I've ever seen. Um, it's absolutely, When I pulled up, I just was in awe of this piece of water. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to actually go fish. And hopefully I get to set the hook today. All right, let's do it. Are you like... Continuous jerking, jerk pause, letting it sit. What have you been doing? I will do this and just wait a few seconds, and then I just basically let the weight of the rod pull it, pull it in. I mean, I fished it painfully slow. It's, it's really actually a little difficult for me because I'm more of a, you know, uh -huh. hack, but but it's. Oh, oh man, I don't know what I put that in front of. Um, yeah, it's very slow. This is your first look at my new truck, actually, but I broke my jig off. Um, I'll talk about the truck in another video, but yeah, my, my little blue pickup is gone, guys. So watch my channel as much as possible because now I got to pay for this thing. Whew, my hands are cold. place man this is so beautiful <sighs> guys I did not have the camera running look at the boil I just lost the fish I just lost the fish on the turd throwing a Ned rig throwing a Ned rig sharing fishing stories with Ron and I lost the fish that's my first fish in like two months Tangled up my rod. Oh, boo. How did it hit? Was, did it hit pretty hard? I was twitching the bait, and then it just, oh, okay. it just loaded up on it. Can you believe that this is a private pond or private lake? The dude that owns this built all this, had all this built. Crazy. I mean, absolutely beautiful place to fish. Today is, I'm, I can't imagine that today is indicative of how this place fishes. It's just wintertime, so 
it's gonna be what it is. No skunk. <laughs> you know where he was? You know where he was? Right off the corner of the concrete right there. Right here off the dam. I didn't get skunked. Off the little turd rig. Please tell me my camera was on. Yes! My camera was on too. It's really hard to keep a camera on when you're not catching fish. Yeah. Two fish, one fish, two fish. I just poked myself in the thumb pretty bad. Yay. No skunk. He's bigger than the last one. I can't believe using <laughs> Yeah, I've got, I don't know if I've got another one. I'll give you one if I got one. Oh, I, got I got two fish. I'm good for the day. Appreciate the invite, man. last two videos have been zeros. Night, they've been zero so bad I didn't even post them. <laughs> there was nothing to post. It wasn't even like good commentary. <laughs> oh! <sighs> he ran with it. I bet you when I get it in, my bait's gonna be pulled down the hook. I don't think he had the whole thing. How do you not get the whole thing on a three inch bait? <laughs> you think it was the smallest one? That's all I've been catching. It always, it's always when you don't have the camera running that you actually get the fish. This one was on the Ned Rig, just like every other fish has been on the Ned Rig. But I was just thinking, I said, nah, let me go get the camera. And I didn't get the camera, and I got the biggest fish of the day so far. Funny thing is about these fish, they don't have red crushers in their mouth. It's January. It's a decent fish. A little Ned Rake fish. You can see the sun's starting to get low. I don't know where the sun is. It's up there somewhere. But it's getting really low. But yeah, we're going to let this one go. Try to get another one. Yeah. Every one of my fish has been in the same spot. Right there on this little stump. Little dinker. Dead rig. It's all about the Ned rig today. That's the smallest fish of the day. He's the size of my hand. Well, I lost my bait, so it's a good time to shoot an outro. If I can get y'all out of the sun. Yeah. So I was going to show you the bait I was using, but I lost it <laughs> right as soon as I thought about doing the outro. So um, I want to first say thank you. You broke a three game losing streak for me. All right. I have been out three times before this and had nothing. So every fish I caught today was like a bonus fish because <laughs> I have, I've been like blanking. That's why you haven't seen any videos from me because I didn't have any fish. I didn't even have any good conversation to post. So um, I appreciate it. Pleasure. And uh I hope you invite me out again. Yeah, Dude, absolutely. This is the most beautiful spot I've ever seen to fish in. Yeah. All right, guys, the cypress trees, the, the care that the landowner has taken to add brush to the water and keep the property up neat and clean, and just what he's built out here is phenomenal. This was an absolutely fantastic place to fish. So um, next time, we're going to get him 
on camera with some fish too though. All right. So yeah. it's it's January. You know, we were out here fishing, it was fun. So man, I appreciate it. Dude, yeah, man. For real. Absolutely. And uh how long we've been trying to get together to fish? A year or more? Yeah, about a year. I'd say. Yeah, it's been at least a year and we live in the same city pretty much. I mean he works in the city I live in and I drive through the county he lives in to go fishing and it took us a year to get together. It's all right. It yeah, won't be that long next time. No, it won't be. All right, won't bro. Be. But um appreciate y'all watching. Um remember Watch me fish my way, but always get out there and fish your way. So see you in the next video.